What's up everybody? I'm David Delbridge and today we're going to service a Mackie 8 bus mixing console. These have three large Phillips head screws holding the end caps in place under which there are four smaller Phillips head screws and then 10 on the bottom. Now make sure you've got the power off. I will only have the power on during testing and when I'm testing I make sure not to touch anything inside the console. Now the problem I'm having is a bad tape input, specifically number three. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove that tape input board, grab these star washers before I lose them, and then we're going to swap it with the next tape input board and see if the problem follows us. If it does, then we know we've got a bad board. If it doesn't, then we know it's something further up the chain, probably the ribbon cable. If it's deeper than that, then I may be in over my head, but let's see what happens. Now, I don't want to risk shorting anything, so I'm going to reattach these boards to the frame using just two of the nuts on each. Then what we'll do is we will use a guitar tuner with a tone out to test each of the inputs with a pair of headphones. Never mind the frown, I'm actually signaling here that there is sound in the headphones. But not so much here. So we got a bad board. The nice thing about these consoles is they are very modular and finding replacement parts on eBay is a snap. If you look at the upper left corner, you can see the part number. And I found several available on eBay for this one I purchased for 27 bucks. So I'm actually going to swap these back into their original positions just to avoid any confusion. And then we're going to replace the board on tape inputs one through eight with the new board. Put those star washers back on there and fasten them down. And there's the new board. Now I'm actually going to test all of these tape inputs just to make sure everything is working. And we're good. So let's get them fastened down. Clean things up a bit while we're here, shoot a little canned air. And seal her back up, which is just repeating what we did at the beginning in reverse. Ten small Phillips head screws on the bottom, five up top, five down below, four on each side. And then on the end caps, there are three large Phillips head screws, which I should mention are not the same size. Uh, the one at the rear of the console is shorter than the two Phillips head screws at the middle and front. Now 
Now let's go to final test. We're going to check every input and then every tape input. And that's it. She's 100%. Hope this is helpful. Y'all have a great day. Adios.